Well, we're staying in Parliament, and in an interview with Joy News this morning, however, First Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Joseph Osei-Wusu, uh, said his role as presiding member would not stop him from exercising his right to vote on any subject on the floor of Parliament. Some members of Parliament on Monday night were engaged in a fist fight following a disagreement during the vote on government's e-levy bill. The fight ensued when the MPs were voting in a headcount to decide whether the e-levy bill would be accepted under a certificate of urgency. The decision by the first deputy speaker to vacate the seat to enable him vote may have triggered the chaos. Well, he has a response for his actions. The rule they themselves read of that uh, 1193, they said that the person presiding will not have his original vote while presiding. So when you leave the seat, are you still presiding? And why can't I leave the seat? Yesterday, with the speaker started, until after about an hour and a half, he called me to come and talk about the problem. I was not feeling very well. So, Within one hour, I also asked the second deputy speaker to take over for me. This is a regular thing we do every day. We change, go back and change. I recall in 2018, around Christmas, I had gone home for around two years and I was called. The proceedings are still going on. They need me to come and take over for me. The second speaker, that time, was the second deputy speaker. That quickly changed and drove back to Parliament. So changing over is a regular feature in the work of uh, the speaker. At the point when we get to the division, the whole proceedings are a new proceedings, it's not a fresh. And therefore, I can change over and then leave the seat for the uh, second deputy speaker after he had voted. And this was the cabinet of three because of our current circumstances. The only advantage the majority has of the minority is one, one vote. Any time the speaker is not present and one of the two deputy speakers decide, then the majority is disadvantaged. That is what the minority perpetuates. But as long as we can change over, then that advantage is restored. And in my view, and I still hold that view very strongly, that as long as we can change the seat at any time, it should not give us a disadvantage. Otherwise, no proceedings will go on. Why should I come and preside so that I can't take any decision? What is the point? Well, the first deputy speaker also wants the House to identify and punish members of Parliament seen fighting on the floor. It happened last night. I slept the chamber. Most of the time, it happened behind me. I saw, I see them in the video. But you can identify individuals. If you don't call out those individuals and hold them responsible for their actions and you lumber them together, nothing will change. Disappointed. This is my fourth term in Parliament. It is only in this eighth Parliament that they have been violent. I, the first two parliaments, um, I was with the minority. We objected strongly, we made our case strongly, and we never attempted physically to disrupt any proceedings. Never once. The worst we did was to walk out of the chamber. So we should point out who are specifically seeking to disrupt proceedings. And before it gets to that, they show their intention. And they are all on camera. So we should point out those specific individuals and call them out. Point the error of our thinking. Nobody should accuse me of misconducting myself in December because I never do.